gold and tips out should ban this from dueling tournaments. Should ban this from dueling tournaments. Okay. Hello, everybody. Today, I would like to talk about something that I think should okay. be banned from both Asmin Gold and Tips Out Dueling Tournament, which I did not okay. get invited to, by the Ooh. way, despite being a multi gladiator, and I also was High Warlord in Original Vanilla. So yeah, I don't right. know what their criteria yeah, is over right. there for determining who's what allowed into these tournaments. But okay. Letty breaking out of that polymorph. See, had he been All an right. undead, uh, undead. This is priest, back during he the demo. Forsaken. <laughs> But he choosing the troll for the troll berserker buff. But it is absolute. Oh, because Tips said. So there's this big meme about Tips saying that you could break, uh, break polymorph with Will of the Forsaken, which was like it was just a dumb thing he said, right? Not really a big deal. But uh, everybody uses that as a as a joke, right? I mean, I, it's a funny joke, but it's not a big deal. Garbage. That being said, now I know there's a lot of people in the comments out there saying, "Oh, shadow priests are overpowered." Ever yes. since I put out my PVP yes, videos, they are. people have They're been very talking good. about how overpowered shadow priests are. Yes. Blah blah blah. Yes. Even though before this, when I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to play a shadow priest, yes. people were saying that shadow priests were only good at one versus one. Now they're overpowered at everything. So, no, they're very before good. we even get started, let's just put that one on the table, because I'm about to disprove you. I, 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 okay, she, all right, here the, we go. The truth of the matter is that Shadow Priests have a lot of difficult matchups. One versus one, and one versus multiple people. Well, yeah, and, what do you mean, difficult matchups? Oh, oh, yeah, it's really hard for me to fight three people at a time, so Shadow Priests aren't really that good. I only win half of the time whenever I'm against three people. Oh yeah, that that's exactly right. One of those matchups is the uh rogue. Filthy rogue. As you can see in this clip here. Why don't you fucking shield yourself? I get jumped by a rogue. Yeah. Gow cheap shot gouge, blah 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 blah. And then blah. he does the kidney shot. Kidney yep. shot vanish. I don't know what the hell that was. Yeah, I don't either. Who cares? Regardless, I don't get to play my character and I die. Is he gonna shoot you? Shoot him. Shoot him. He uses no consumables. Shoot him. No Thistle T, no Sapper Charge. There is literally nothing that I could have done in this situation except sit there and spam fear in the hopes that I get a lucky stun resist. Yeah. In this context, really the only counter that a priest has against a rogue is a priest has a five point talent that increases stun resist by 15%. So, so, I mean, here's the thing, right? Is that what he's saying is bubble fear dots. How the fuck is he going to fear and dot him if he isn't able to you play his character? Like, I mean, does that. You ever think about that? Like, how's he going to. Like, so if, if if there is no point in time where he's able to move his character, then how is he going to do anything? The only thing that you can do there is you can pre-bubble and you can maybe get a trinket or something like that that has a high amount of armor on it, right? And I think that's basically the, uh, the situation here is that you need to have something that has like a bunch of armor or uh, a ton of mitigation. I think that's the main thing. Will of the Forsaken. Yeah, you know what? Let, yeah, just have him Will of the Forsaken have this stun. Uh, there. Problem solved. Really, the only chance that you have is hopefully getting a lucky yeah. stun resist, followed by a fear. So this matchup, as it stands already, is fairly one-sided. However, there is a yeah. certain rogue tactic that can ensure their victory. And no one has talked about it thus far. Being this tactic can be used called. against priests, mages, paladins, and it can probably also be used against shamans as well, okay. actually. What Regardless, it? here it is. There I was, minding my own business. Yeah. Having just logged in. This is when I was filming for my PvP video. Okay. Uh, disposing okay. of the Devil Sword Mafia. <sighs> However, in this okay. clip, you'll see that I am the one who gets disposed of. <laughs> Okay. I get sapped. Okay. 
and following the sap, the rogue cheap shots me yep. while facing a direction that does not allow for the rogue to auto attack me. Cheap shot does zero damage and awards something like two to three combo points. So the rogue is effectively able to build up combo points without breaking sap. There is nothing that I can do about it. Okay. As he simply runs away and stealths. Now, well, in you a survived. real world situation, yeah. outside of a dueling tournament, the counterplay to this is simply mounting and leaving. You guys want to wonder what his ticket was about? Says so you've received the ticket response. Click here to read it. Okay, you guys ever wonder like what what did he put in a ticket for? However, in the context of a dueling tournament with money on the table, you can yeah. rest assured that rogues are going to use this strategy, stall yeah. out the beginning of the duel of as they build up combo points, and essentially start the duel with five free combo points. You can see. I wait for the okay. rogue. I know what this rogue is doing. I know exactly what he's doing. I just want to record it for you. Yeah. As you can see, burr, burr from the rogue, which m translates to LOL. The rogue knows what they're doing. Okay. So again, I wait, let him know I'm ready as I want to have this on film. And again, I am sapped, cheap shotted. Well, that one I suppose resisted. Got lucky. It doesn't However, matter, though. No You're just issue. gonna wait for it to happen again, right? Yeah. Cheap shot. Run away. As I said, no counterplay to this. There is nothing that you can do to He's prevent just sapping this from and running away. Who Perhaps gives a, a fuck? Perhaps a mage could spam a cane explosion and run around in circles. Uh, wait. Paladins really have very little. Maybe they could sit on Consecration or something, but... Wait, what are we waiting for? A good rogue knows how to weave between these things. Followed by a final sap. Now, to be fair... So, I combo points? I thought that, um, when I was counting them, and I, I thought that... I thought Kidney Shot gave you two combo points. A am I... Am I wrong about that? Because it, it does on live servers. I, I don't know. Sorry, cheap shot. Excuse me. Yeah, cheap shot. Cheap shot gives you two. Yeah. So why do you get? Well, why do you go for 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 four of them? I mean, I, that's what I'm curious about. I saw the okay, rogue early. Go. I could have theoretically <coughs> reacted. Then for two, some reason, the rogue three. went oh, okay. in stealth in front of me instead of going from behind. Exposed so armor I as well. Him. Jesus Christ! But uh, you know, you, you you see the point here. Okay. Sapped and uses a macro that will allow him to expose armor without doing damage. <coughs> expose armor just like Cheap Shot does no damage. It's something like ex cast expose armor slash stop attack. And so essentially Which, the- I mean, that's not against the rules. You know, like the expose armor, like that. that's not against the rules at all. Begins the duel with a five point okay. expose armor, reducing my armor to zero. That is, yeah, and okay. And waits out my shield. Somehow applies mind-numbing poison. I that I don't understand. Yeah. And now this is where he's gonna open up on him right and here. And then it is good game. Shadow priests are overpowered, by the way. Watch this damage, dude. <laughs> yeah, shadow priests are absolutely so overpowered. Yeah, I mean, look, dude. Sometimes Insanely you get got, man. Overpowered. Sometimes you get got. People just do not know how to play against a Shadow Priest. However, that is a topic yeah. for another video. Regardless, this tactic used by rogues, filthy yeah. rogues, should absolutely be banned from any serious dueling tournament. If someone wants to duel me outside of Durotar and use this strategy, I have no problems with it as it is part of the game. If someone wants to do this to me in World PvP, go for it. It's a bit cheap, but whatever. That's the game. However, in a serious dueling tournament, rogues should not be allowed to start the duel with a free five combo point exposed armor. Rogues are already a very strong 1v1 class, particularly preparation rogues. This would simply seal the deal. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh, 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 okay. All right, okay. So, pause the video. Well, there's only two shots, okay? You're not even drunk. Uh, advertise this. Hello, everybody. You know, it's going to be good. Yeah, listen. All righty. He's trying to balance classic. He made a legit point. Let's be honest. All right. So let's talk about let's talk about this. I think this is an interesting conversation. So first thing, I, I want to ask you guys, what do you think? Like, I mean, do you do you see like what he's saying? Do you agree with them or, or what? Like first thing before I say, is annoying. He's right. He's right. Okay. So here's my take on it. The, the tournament says in the rules that there's no stalling and, and no, like, kind of uh, postponing a duel and staying in stealth constantly. Is sapping somebody over and over and over to build up combo points stalling? I think that's basically the question that we have to ask. Because in the rules already, it says that, it, I, in my opinion... Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, let's kill these guys here. God, I hate these fucking ogres. Okay, give me a second. I'm trying to get aggro on him. Okay, there we go. Good. All right, try and get aggro on him too. Guys, try to be careful, okay? These guys are real cocks. They're real cocks, so please be careful. Am I gonna die here? Uh, I'll just keep kiting. Why stand? This damn these ogres do so much fucking damage. This is insane. What the fuck? Uh, I should have just done this as arms, man. Like, arms is so much better for, like, dungeon tanking. Uh, I, I can't even believe it. Uh, if that's part of stalling, then so is mage polymorphing. Well, it matters, like, so how long you're doing it, for example. So here, here's, like, a point that I'm making. Is that if you're stalling out the duel for, let's say, two and a half minutes in order to get five combo points to open up on your target, I think that's a different type of stalling than somebody polymorphing using one or two casts of polymorph for like the combined total of 50 seconds because it just matters like how long so if i had to say like what is the number what's the number i, I would say like one minute like if you're if you're stalling for more than one minute that is too much in my mind right so long as you're building combo points you're playing uh... that is all right so what do you guys think about that because, like, I mean, I don't really have... I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I don't have a... I don't have an opinion on this. Like, I, I'm not a rogue. Uh, of course I'm not a rogue. I, I have some in, some degree of integrity. Uh, so, of course, I don't play a rogue. But, uh, you know, I know other people do. And, you know, I, I, w w what do you guys think? Uh, to counter this rogue move... Uh, let's see here. What is the counter? Uh, the counter this rogue move is easily mitigated by spamming AoE at random intervals. No, it's not. Do you really think that, like, spamming an AoE ability at a random interval is a genuine solution to this? Uh, I fell? Oh, it's fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, th they'll kill it anyway. Uh, are we just- are we gonna die here? I think Killoff is gonna die. Yeah, he just got fucking- just got punched. Okay, watch out, boy. Watch out. There you go. Oh my god. Jeez, these guys do so much fucking damage. This is insane. Rogues already have the advantage of opening on opponents, sapping over and over is stalling. Alright, you know what? Let's do a poll. Uh, I want to do a poll and actually get the, uh, uh, get the, the viewer response here. Uh, give me a second. Uh, okay, straw poll, where is it? Straw poll. Okay, here we go. So we'll take a look and we'll see what the, uh, what the consensus of the chat is. Alrighty. So, is sapping over and over at the start of a duel to get 5 CP so combo points uh, uh, good and should it be allowed in the dueling tourney okay uh, let, let's see alright yes and no alright Okay, guys, let's go ahead. We're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do this right here. Let's get everybody, uh, everybody healed up and, and everything first. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, big boy pulled there. I see big boy. Okay, I see him. Uh, let's just get around here. I think that they'll reset if we just stand over here, okay? Alright, so. Okay, there's the pole right there. Hmm. Hmm. No. Yes. Uh. Uh. 
So most people say it should not be allowed. Okay. Uh, you know what? Here's the way that I look at it. Is that the tournaments and everything are supposed to be engaging and interesting for viewers. And if the viewers feel like something is not really very fun to watch, and that's like another another big component of this, like let's be real, is that if you're doing a, a thing like this, and you're trying to do like a, a dueling tournament, and you have these people that are fucking taking forever to do a, a duel because they're sitting around like fucking sapping, it's like how do you cast that? Okay, he's going for the, Peo's going for the sap! He's going for the, oh he gets the sap, what's gonna, oh he, he vanished again, okay, alright, he re-stealth, okay, alright guys. All right, 15 more minutes, and then we're going to be able to actually watch uh, watch some gameplay, okay? So uh, stay tuned. Let's run a three-minute ad break, and by that time, we'll have five combo points on the target, and then the duel can take three seconds. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like, yes, obviously that's kind of stupid. It is kind of stupid. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but it is. And I don't know what else they can do besides just kind of letting it happen, though. That's the issue, is that, like, if you if you disallow this... This is a core rogue mechanic. It's like stealthing to, uh, like sapping and like re-stealthing. So where is the line that you draw? Yeah, wh where's the line that you, what the fuck? Where did these guys come from? Uh, can you just sheep that one up there, dude? Yeah, can you just sheep that one up there? It's not really a big deal, but yeah. Uh, I, I feel like we're just, like these, like this, this dungeon, dude, is like the bane of my fucking existence. Like. I don't know why. I guess I never really did it. Like, I don't know this dungeon very well. So, I always make mistakes in, like, pulling things on accident. <clears throat> That's why. Uh, they don't even have Thistle Tea? What do you mean, they don't have Thistle Tea? What do you mean? So, like, because because they don't have Thistle Tea, they should be able to reset the duel, like, 40 times? What the fuck is that? Like, that, that makes no sense. Jesus Christ. Uh, you have people who are playing Rogue matchups start the duel 10 seconds before, 10 minutes before. So, the Rogue can get 5 Kongamba points before. So the rogue just gets five. No, I, I don't. I, I feel like allowing the rogue to get five combo points ahead of time is. It's like e that's even worse. <laughs> that's, even, that's an even worse idea. Like, what do you mean? Like, okay, just let him get five combo points. Yeah, the one minute rule for stalling sounds good for me. Yeah, I feel like if you don't have, if it takes you more than a minute to like do your opener and everything and like actually get into combat, then I feel like. I don't know, I just feel like rogues are gonna play like such pussies, dude. They play like such fucking pussies. A and it's gonna be so boring for viewers. Like, that's what I'm really concerned about. Because, like, you know they're gonna play like pussies. O of course they're gonna play like pussies. So will mages? Yeah, but, like, the thing is with mages, at least you can see them. Like, rogues, you can't even see what the fuck is happening. They're just stealth. They're just like, oh, I wonder what's what they're gonna do, right? Uh, I, I don't know, man. I have no fucking idea.